Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me on this Friday. Usually we don't have Friday streams because there's usually no news on Fridays. I in fact usually take Fridays off if you haven't noticed because I work Sundays with movie math so my weekend is Friday and um, Saturday. Although, I mean, usually, sometimes I'll have a video that I post on Friday, but I've, I've done it before. I've done it like the day before or something. Uh, but I wanted to have three streams this week. It was really important to me. And But I mean, going forward, I'm gonna make sure I get up on time to cover X-Men 97 on Wednesdays because it's only, it's only fire episodes left, baby. So I wanna make sure I'm on top of that. But I really, just really, really wanted to do three streams, especially after I missed doing streams last week um, because the streams are such an important part of this channel and I, I just love talking to you guys so much. Uh, all right, so uh, don't worry, by the way, there will still be a BTC Inside Access stream, you know, that's an Ask Me Anything, that's a private Ask Me Anything. Uh, sometime next week. Uh, but this, you know, I was like, it's a slow news day. I mean, there were little stories we could have talked about. Like uh, Byron Allen is back in it, maybe to get Paramount. I hope he does. I really do. Sony partnered with him at this last bid. And so I guess that makes, they say it make, makes maybe Sherry Redstone feel that he can, that they're going to be able to pony up that kind of cash. Uh, and then also Netflix, of course, is bringing the fire with the subscriptions. Um... Kay Walton, wouldn't it be amazing if Byron Allen got Paramount? I'm really rooting for him. It would change the industry. I think it's infinitely more interesting if he got it. And I'm so glad that Sony backed him. I hope to be reporting on that soon. We'll see. It's a long shot, but it's very exciting. And then also Netflix, of course, uh, did like so much. Uh, they, got, they got more subscribers than anticipated. Uh, Liam, for those of you who know Byron Allen is um, uh, he's a very successful business person. He owns the Weather Channel, um, uh, as well as a couple, a, a number of affiliate stations. That's where he first built his empire. Uh, and he's also started out, up as, uh, out as a stand-up comedian. Uh, but he also happens to be African-American, and uh, it's unfortunate to say that he has s been treated as an outsider in the industry. Uh, but, you know, he's been slowly but surely building his empire with more and more legit um, uh, purchases, and Paramount is a very exciting opportunity for him. And it would be, he first just wanted to buy, I think he just wanted to buy BET at first, and I think Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry has expressed an interest in acquiring that as well. But Byron Allen wants to get the whole, whole, the whole enchilada. And uh, he made a bid, but it was rejected, even though it was like 24, 26 billion. Uh, but now uh, Sony said, we'll go in on that deal with him. It's like Shark Tank. They, so two sharks are now making a bid for, for Paramount. Uh, all right. And then also um, uh, Netflix not only did so well with subscribers, they dropped the microphone and they said, we're not picking it up back again in 2025. Uh, Netflix has said that starting in 2025, they will no longer report subscriber numbers. Which, and the fact that they can just decide that is insanity to me. Uh, it would be like, it would be tantamount to a studio saying they weren't going to report box office numbers anymore. You know, just being like, mm, you know what, we don't need to do it. Uh, Kevin, Warner Brothers is not sold yet, uh, but I don't, I think Zazzy's, you know, it was only reported today that he made like a little under 50 million. It was a down year for Zazzy. <laughs> he made a little under 50 million was his latest pay package. Uh, but that's the way it is, is with executives. It goes up and down depending on the stock and the deals that they make that year. All right, so yes, this is a Q&A. Uh, it's, a fun, loose, it's a fun, loose time, baby. We're just going to have a nice time. You can ask me anything you'd like for about half an hour or so. Uh, and we're going to have a great time. So Billy Baby Bobby says, just wanted to give a shout out to my friend and fellow BTT member, Adam Byers. Adam passed away? Are you serious? Did he, this better not be like a really poor joke. Because we just spoke to Adam yesterday. Unfortunately true. That is so sad. We were just talking to him yesterday. Remember he made the joke about being a vegetarian? Wow, thanks for telling me, Billy Baby Bobby. <sighs> B 
be careful out there and you just never know. All right. Sorry, I just composed myself. That's right, Liam, let's just take a moment for Adam. All right. I feel, I feel weird going back to questions, but you know, um, but I, I, I'm really glad that you told us, Billy. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, and you guys are all so kind. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> that's right. Karaoke Ken. That was the joke that he made. Yes. Uh, um, no, I don't think he made that joke yesterday. I think it was somebody else, but he did talk about being a vegetarian. All right, yes, we dedicate the stream, Kay Walton. That's a great idea. We dedicate the stream to Adam Byers. All right, hey, Brendan. Uh, all right, oh, he did make that joke? That was a funny joke. All right, okay. All right, let's, let's, it's very sad, but uh, let's move on. All right, <clears throat> I saw, I think Danny asked a question about Rebel Moon Part 2. I was going to review it, in fact, but they only gave out the screeners late last night. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, uh, that's very kind of Eloy. I, I didn't want to watch it. Um, uh, I, I just was like, I heard, you know, I was like, if, it, if they're giving out the screener this late, it must be awful. And I wanted to catch up on Shogun. Um, and also, I only had time to do one thing today and it would either be review rebel moon part two or do this live stream and i wanted to do the live stream ah thanks dancing dog 60. i wanted to do this live stream because i wanted to do three live streams for the week so i'm just not going to be able to do i'm not going to cover rebel moon part two also zach's been very kind to me i don't want to make a video trashing his work uh i think it's sad what's happened uh oh thanks tammy uh, oh, the famous Kiki, you're very kind. Uh, but yeah, that's why I didn't cover Rebel Moon. Uh, and you can see, I think last I checked, it was 9% on Rotten Tomatoes, uh, which I'm not at all surprised about. I mean, I thought the first film was very Zack Snyder. I thought it was okay. I gave it a positive review. You know, I wanted to, you know, be positive. But, you know, we can only go so far with positivity before it just becomes ridiculous. Austin says, what expansion are you the most excited for at Disney World? Funny you should ask, Austin. Because right before this stream, I had a little time to kill. I was doing an interview, which will go up next week, which I'm very excited about. But um, uh, I was also looking at merch. Uh, when I had a little time to kill before this interview, before this live stream started. And I was looking at merch for the new Fantasy Springs in Tokyo, uh, Tokyo, Tokyo Disneyland. And I was like, that Peter Pan merch is fire. I was like, how am I going to get this? I love Peter Pan. Uh, although, on, oddly, I can't really rewatch the movie anymore because of the way it portrays women. Like, as soon as they get to Neverland, I'm like, all right, I'm out. You know, I'm like, I can't take it anymore. Uh, and it has a lot of, the Peter Pan, the animated movie for Peter Pan has a lot of unfortunate elements in it. But I still overall like the feeling of Peter Pan. So I was like, oh, man, how am I going to get all that gorgeous merch? So I thought that was great. I did two things before we started the stream. I looked at merch for Disney Springs, for Fantasy Springs, and then I also played Luminosity. I don't know if you guys ever play Luminosity, but I play it every day. It's brain uh, teasers to keep your brain sharp. And I play it every day. You do it for about 10 minutes, and I, I, I love it. A friend recommended it to me. Uh, Patrick Durling says, what are your thoughts on Disney adding a channel feature to Disney Plus? It takes the stress of choice out of the equation. I have mixed feelings about it. <coughs> um, I think my problem with it is that um, I like the idea like a random thing for sitcoms. You know, I know people like to just get a random sitcom sometimes, like when you're watching syndication. But I really worry that it's going to be used for babysitting. You know, maybe for babysitting adults, but I really worry about streaming and babysitting for children. I feel it hurts development. Uh, I think it's a very bad thing. One of the worst things to come out of streaming that a lot of times people will just turn on streaming and walk away and be like, and I think also, this is something else I'll tell you. I think it creates bad viewing habits for kids. Uh, I was talking to somebody who was watching some kids, uh, not their kids, and took them 
uh, to the movies, right? And these kids could not sit still and watch the movie because they were used to having movies on in the background because of streaming. So, like, my friend was shocked. They were like, this, these kids won't sit down. They're walking around. They want to talk. They want to get just talk to each other. They want to do stuff. They want to go to the bathroom. You know, it's like pandemonium. They can't just sit here and watch the movie. And I feel like that's what's happening here. So I, I don't like it for that reason. I feel like it's really a problem. I think streaming and social media is destroying uh, people's ability to focus on long-form storytelling. Brendan says, hi, Grace, big fan, follow season two confirmed. I'm so excited. I thought it was weird they officially confirmed it when before Fallout dropped, it already got a tax break to film season two in California. So I was like, what do you mean? It's, I mean, it was already confirmed. Uh, it says, uh, odd question, what's your Myers-Briggs type index? What's a Myers-Briggs type index? I don't even know what that is. Let me, to the Googles. Let me see. I'm sure, I hope it's not insulting, Brendan. Okay, I'm so trusting. Myers-Briggs, oh, a Myers-Briggs personality test. Oh, that's interesting. I've never taken it. Uh, ENF, EN, EN, uh, I'm not sure what type I am. Let me see, let me see if it's insulting, what you came up with. EN, ENTJ, EN, TJ, strategic, logical, efficient, outgoing, ambitious, independent, effective organizers of people and long range planners. Oh, that's delightful. Thank you. <laughs> that made my day. I'll just go with that. I don't need to take the test. That sounds what it is. Uh, film fanatics says, do you think unintentional companion movies help or hurt each other like Elvis and Priscilla and next year's Frankenstein and the Bride? Any companion movies you can think would be cool? Well, companion movies are actually tough for the industry. Like, remember they did two ant movies and stuff and two volcano movies? I think they're bad. Whatever, it's why it's so important to be first. Ah, uh, Danny, that's very kind with all the... Uh, that's true. I love this community. You guys are really kind. Oh, look, Marco plays Luminosity. That makes me very happy. And so does Tammy. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Uh, MM92 says, Grace, in your opinion, which superhero movie is the most comics accurate with the source material? I guess Deadpool off the top of my head. I think that's incredibly accurate. Although, of course, it's a little easier to be accurate to that. Um, I think like early Marvel was pretty comics accurate as well, which is one of the reasons it did so well out of the gate. I think the fact that Kevin Feige is a little less accurate now is something that's um, causing some headaches for him. Be like, just do it like the comic, man. What the heck? Uh, all right, let's see here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Marco says the train game on luminosity is the lead cause of my anxiety. Yes. Yes. The train game. I was doing so well, but I've reached a level where I just can't control it. I can't control the trains. It's too many of them. Oh, well, let's see here. Chico, I haven't listened to Taylor Swift's new album. I turned it on. I turned on some songs and I was like, I think she's kind of ripping off Phil Collins, I think. Or Peter Gabriel, I can't remember which one. Talk about companion things. <laughs> Peter Gabriel and Phil Collins are like the same person to some degree. Although one of them is not very nice, it turns out. But anyway, um, I'll, try, I'll give it a whirl, but I don't know. I, for some reason, I decided I thought it was distasteful to talk trash about everybody. You know, and that's like the main thing I saw. I love Taylor. I, mean, I don't want to talk trash about Taylor. I'm no Courtney Love. I saw how she was trash talking everybody the other day. It was ridiculous. But I was like, ah, oh, man, I don't want to hear all this negativity and hate, you know, like, I don't know. It was a little much for me. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go back. I'll see what the most popular songs are, and then I'll check those out. I was like, 31 songs. I don't have time for this. Uh, let's see here. Um, Rodney says, why don't you go to Disneyland? I do go to Disneyland, but I just don't. You know, Disneyland is more of a local park, in my opinion. And so whenever I'm in California, I go to Disneyland for sure. I'm like, let's go to Disneyland. How can I not? I love it there. Uh, it, has such a, it has such a unique vibe. I love how every Disney park feels different. Um, but uh, Disney World is like a full vacation. And so that's the reason I go to Disney World instead of Disneyland. Uh, that's right, Kay Walton. Read to your kids. Jennifer, I'm so jealous of you going to Tokyo Disney. Maybe I should ask you to get stuff for me and send it to me. I'm tempted. Maybe I will. 
All right, uh, if you don't mind, I, I might just ask. Uh, let's see here. That's very kind of you, Danny. Harry says, hey, Grace, did you see Elizabeth Olsen was cast in an A24 rom-com with Callum Turner and Miles Teller? It's now my most anticipated movie. Oh, that's great. I'm glad you're excited about it. I don't know. It seems a little challengers like to me. I'd be, I'd be like, what's this about? Cosmics, you had some kid on an iPad during your movie too? I've had that happen so many times. I just get so annoying. Dimitri says, happy Friday. Nothing to say I'm in a meeting. Oh, that's great, Dimitri, but wanted to show off my Ruby status. Oh, I love it. You're ready for the weekend, Dimitri. I love that you came in during a meeting. Good luck with your meeting. I hope it's going well. Uh, who has a Friday meeting? At least it's early. Well, I, I don't know where you are on the globe, Dimitri, but I hope it's early. Leon, I'm not related to Mark Randolph or Joyce Randolph. But I always support fellow, well, I hope, I don't know anything about this Mark Randolph. I don't know what he's like, but I try to support fellow Randolphs. Uh, like uh, Divine Joy Randolph, right? Remy says, how would you feel about an X-Men 97 feature film? Oh, look at you, Gambit fan. Been watching you for years and I've always loved your videos. Oh, thank you. Um... Uh, I would love it. You mean like an anime? They said they wanted to make one. I mean, I would support this team with anything at this point because I just absolutely love what they're doing with the X-Men 97 uh, series. Uh, T Tina, I haven't watched the Bridgerton season three trailer. I'm not a Bridgerton fan. Too spicy for me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Ryle, although I did watch parts of Queen Charlotte because everybody said it was making them cry. They were like, oh, it's so sad. So I like, I scrubbed through it and I watched the, the, the really beautiful touching moments and I was like, oh, that is beautiful. Riley said, does Catherine Newton struggle with acting in a CGI environment maybe like Natalie Portman and did in the prequels and that's why Ant-Man didn't work out for her. I think also it was the script. Also, I think Catherine Newton's very talented, but I think she, I think she drank her own Kool-Aid. You know, she was like, this is it. I'm going to blow up and be a huge, you know, she thought she was going to be a huge star. And you're like, she jinxed herself. She jinxed herself. You know, Leslie Mann did a similar thing when she was in Godzilla a long time ago with uh, Matthew Broderick. And she went, I remember, uh, it was a long time ago, I was little, but I, that's how bad it was. I still remember it. She was on a late night talk show and she was like, this is it. My career's good. She's like, felt her career was going to take off. And of course it didn't. Um, I'm glad, you know, Leslie Mann's very funny. And eventually, you know, thanks to her husband who cast her in a lot of stuff, she was able to sh eventually shine. But, um, yeah, don't, don't jinx yourself. You don't know what's going to happen. Oh, look at everybody sharing their scores. Wow, everybody's taking this test. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I should take it. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Oh, Simu uh, Lakra, thank you for gifting a membership. I'm coming, I'm coming. 80s model, thank you as well. Let me go. I'm going back. I'm going back. I don't want to miss anything. Hold on. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yes, uh, thank you, Aubrey. If you could like the stream and subscribe, I would be appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. Lord Baratheon. I don't have any Marvel tea. Don't get me in trouble, man. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Liam says, hi, Queen. Uh, uh, any newer X-Men comic suggestions? I mostly read Batman and recently Superman action. Uh, and also you loved The Authority. It's a hard time in the comic book industry right now. I wouldn't recommend a lot of comics. I really like um, The New Birds of Prey. I think that's an excellent comic. As for X-Men comics, you just have to wait a, a month or so, and over the summer they're going to relaunch all the titles. And so that's where I would jump in. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Palm tree, that's very generous of you. Thank you, says, hi, Grace. Did you see the trap trailer? I think it looks interesting, and I actually don't mind the apparent reveal because I think M. Night probably has another twist up his sleeve. Oh, thank you for asking me about that. I talked about this a little bit yesterday, so I'm just going to brief, uh, you know, briefly reiterate my thoughts on the trailer. But, yeah, I think I'm all for the Josh Hart, you know, comeback. I thought he was great in the Oppenheimer. I thought the trailer looked pretty good. I've been burned so bad by M. Night before, it makes me nervous. But uh, I'm just concerned about how he's going to, you know, he loves like a one location. He loves a cheap shoot. And when he started his career, it was really great. But now it's become kind of too much. But I'm curious to see how he can make the whole story last in the single location. It is a very clever choice, though. 
Let's see here. Riley Steele says, hey, Grace, after seeing Dune 2, is any part of you thinking the upcoming Dune series on Max will be another Game of Thrones? Well, I don't know if Denis is involved. Uh, and I know they've restarted it a couple of times. So I just hope, I hope it doesn't hurt the movies. That's what I'm worried about. Jordan, I'm so glad you like my shirt. I think this is another AFRM shirt, just like the one I wore yesterday. I'm always checking back to see if they got a new shirt in. I don't remember who made this. Hold on. Is it AFRM? It is! <laughs> AFRM. They're great. Let's see. Strong recommend. Uh, Oliver says, do you think challengers could have the same hype as salt burn? I got my ticket. Uh, yep. Yeah. I think, I don't know how popular it will be overall, but some people are going to really like challengers. I really thought it was phenomenal. I really thought it was a really well-made movie. Um, I hope it's, I hope it's bigger than salt burn because salt burn, you know, didn't do that well in theaters. Hunter Smith says, started my first day of my new job. Any advice? Well, first off, congratulations, Hunter. That's very exciting. Um, I guess, you know, try to be a good member of the team. But don't be a pushover either, you know? But try to be a really good member of the team that everybody enjoys having around. Uh, Lisa has a meeting coming up now in five minutes. Super Bob says, Grace, since your Civil War review, I've been wondering what your favorite war movies are. Thanks for the streams. Uh, you know, um, I, don't, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Uh, you know, obviously Saving Private Ryan is considered like a real, like the classic uh, war movie. Uh, you know, Platoon. But I guess, you know, I don't know. I think, I think, I, I think war movies... I appreciate the honesty that they have these days. I think that's really important for people to know what they're getting into. But I also feel because of the sacrifices that soldiers make, you know, obviously there's always a few rotten apples in a bunch. But I feel that soldiers should always be treated with respect as a group. I think it's really a wrong, I think it's wrong to, 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 to vilify them. Uh, let's see here. Greg Lazaro says, hi, Grace. Are you watching Mary and George on Stars? Oh, I'm not surprised it's steamy, but I'm not watching it. I'm just watching Shogun. I didn't really love uh, the, last, the last episode of Shogun, episode nine, before the, se the series finale. I did not care for. I stayed up very late last night. I was like, I just got to watch the next episode. And then I was like, what the heck is this? So I hope I like the finale. But now I'm like kind of bummed out about the direction the show took. I think that, you know... I, I feel like it, it became a very life is cheap show. Let's just say I, I, I'm, with the, I'm with Blackthorn on my view of how everything's going down. Although he started to come around a little bit at the end, which I don't know. I don't know. I'm not there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Simu, are you Jerome? It would fit the one gifting one membership. I always loved, I thought that was always so generous of you. Did you change your name? Thanks for letting us know. I love your morph picture there. Let's see here. Um, Harry M21, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to about choosing a partner. Brennan Lucas says, do you feel Captain Marvel is out at Marvel? She seems angry in her interviews. I felt that character had a lot of potential. Yeah. I think the movie did so poorly, I, I would understand if Disney was nervous about moving forward with her, and I don't know if Brie Larson would even want to continue with it. Um, we'll see. Uh, Eloy says, with Tarantino dropping the movie critic, I want Grace to step in and for her directorial debut. Thanks, Eloy. I appreciate that. I don't want to make a movie about critics either. You'll notice I really try not to comment at all about um, anybody in my space. I just think it's not appropriate. Uh, Dancing Dog 60 says, Grace, is it true that Marvel is actually moving forward with Kang? If so, is he being recast? I can't see Marvel bringing back majors at all. I haven't heard anything about what they're going to do with Kang. You know, I'm trying to avoid, you know, spo I don't want to spoil and ruin movies. Um... But uh, I don't think they're going to be bringing back Jonathan Majors. 
I believe they, didn't they officially let him go after the verdict came out? Tiff says, hey, Grace, I'm curious. What aspect of your work do you like most, do, doing the most? Business, content creation, or journalism? It's a great mix. Ah, oh, thanks, Tiff. You know, I got to tell you, and it's not just because we're doing a live stream, but my favorite part is talking to you guys. I love it so much. I love that part of doing uh, digital media. Uh, I love interacting with you guys. You guys have really changed my world perspective. I think I've grown a lot uh, because, you know, usually before, you know, I did this, you know, and for most people before even, you know, for most people before social media came along, because, you know, we focus a lot on the negative aspects of social media. But I think the positive thing is that it expands people's uh, horizons and who they interact with. Uh, which I think is really important to understanding each other. And so, uh, and I've made some, you know, I've made, you're, I consider you all my friends, but I've made some really great real life friends through doing this show. And uh, so to me, uh, meeting people, and that's interesting. That's one of the things that inspired me to even do this to begin with. I really wanted to do something where I met a lot of people. And, uh, I, you know, I'm so glad you asked that, Tiff. And that actually, you know, makes me a little, it really moves me because... I wasn't sure if I'd achieve that. People like Adam, you know? And so it makes me feel really nice that I did. All right, sorry. Woo, why so much crying today? All right. <clears throat> I mean, we know why, but. All right, 80s model says, Grace did Invincible season two do as well as season one. Well, we haven't gotten to it on the ch on Nielsen charts yet. I don't think we have at least. Uh, I have to keep a, a lookout. Because uh, uh, I think maybe it didn't make it at all. I'll look into that. Uh, Casanova King says, Hey, Grace, I wanted to know if you ever watched the Superman Lives documentary. If so, what is your take? If not, would you ever do a watch along for it? I don't know. Maybe I think my next watch along will be Godzilla minus one, which is hitting prime, I think, like uh, May 3rd. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and set that up. Jamie, I'm not seeing Fall Guy till uh, April 29th. So, so late. Uh, Real Lizzie, I'm just glad you made it. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, 1917. That's a great war movie, Ben, uh, ben Green. Last Samurai, Elia. That's a good war movie. Let's see here. Brett says Mufasa and Sonic 3 are both scheduled for December 20th. Will one of them move? Yeah, for sure. I think one of them will move. And if I were, if I were one of them, I've, that, that, that movie, I think, should be Sonic. Sebastian says, Grace, if you could join any superhero team, which team would you join and what power would you like to have that you would add to the team? Oh, well, I've always said uh, I want to be on the X-Men uh, and I would want uh, telekinesis. I think that is the, by far and away the best power. You can move yourself. You can move other things. It's got flying built into it. I'm a big fan of telekinesis. Uh, let's see here. Elia, thank both your parents for their service. Hey, Anthony. Thanks for joining. Sensation, I don't own an Apple Watch. As I've said before, some of you might have noticed, I don't wear any jewelry whatsoever. Uh, and a watch is a jewelry, in my opinion. I, um, I, only, I use my phone. Uh, thanks, guys. You guys are all really sweet. I'm only getting to your very kind comments now. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I'm skipping ahead here. Oh, Extina has a recommendation for a movie as well. Thank you. Uh, oh, Harry, you were talking about Elizabeth Olsen. Oh, so that's, a, oh, that's what the movie's about. Oh, it's a sad movie. Oh, I can't take much more sadness, man. Let's see here. Alberto says, get back into Tokyo Vice. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I love Ken Watanabe. Let's see here. Tammy says, Grace, fun question. Thank you. If you had to cast a lead, who would you choose? Zendaya, Melissa Barrera, or Jenna Ortega? Hmm, I think, I think Zendaya and Jenna Ortega are on the verge of being overexposed. I think both of them better be careful. And I'm not sure about Melissa Barrera. I got to see what the box office is for Abigail this weekend. I think interest in the movie has been surprisingly low, which is making me nervous for, for Barrera's future in Hollywood. But we'll see on Movie Math on Sunday how she does. Uh, I guess I personally would choose Zendaya because I think I'm the most excited about her career right now. And I think she's uh, just at the cusp of leveling up to leading lady. And I'm very excited about that. Michael, my parents still not have gotten a dog, but they swear that they're going to. I did find them a good, a good site to get a dog. I'm very proud of myself. Lord Baratheon says, do you think Alan Richardson will be a star? 
Uh, I think his window is closing, to be honest with you. I think if he doesn't get that big breakout movie soon, I think it's not going to happen. I think he'll always have Reacher. I think he'll always work. <clears throat> but as for being a star, I think, you know, I think he's losing, losing, lo as I said, the window's closing. You guys are all so sweet. I love you guys all very much. CJ says, Grace, remember you inspired me to move to New York City when I started watching your videos. Ah, oh, that makes me so happy, CJ. I had not remembered that. Thank you for reminding me because I just think of you so much as a New Yorker. The fact that I had anything to do with that blows my mind. I, I helped the city because I think that it benefits having you in it. Uh, thanks, Jordan. You guys are all so sweet. I love you guys all very, very much. Devin says, will you rate my X-Men fan casts? Uh, I'll see if I have time. You can send them over to me on Twitter or something. Karaoke Ken says that you're prime as commercials now because your parents didn't upgrade. Aw, well, your parents are paying for it, so it's free for you. So I think that's how you should look at it. You should be like, I don't have, you don't, it's free, it's totally free for you. Or you could offer to pay the extra 250 to upgrade, or you could be like, I will contribute to the Amazon Prime membership because I just don't want to watch these commercials. Let's see here. Tiff says, ah, oh, making me emotional, Grace. A lot of us consider you a friend as well. From my perspective, you achieved, ah, oh, that's very kind, Tiff. Thank you. Uh, Eloy, ah, oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, let me get to these questions. Who just gifted a ton of memberships? Lawson, oh, 20 memberships. That's really nice. You made it rain, baby. I love it. Yes, he also understands how great telekinesis is. It's the power to get to have. I'm telling you, that's it. <clears throat> you can also put out blasts with telekinesis. You can do like a, a mental blast. I mean, I've thought about it. It's a great power. Kay Walton, I don't know what's happening with this Wonka sequel. All I can think that maybe is Timothy Chalamet wants a lot of money and they're not sure if they want to pay for it. Maybe they want to, I don't know. I, I think green lighting another Wonka would be a no brainer, but Timothy Chalamet seems pretty busy. <clears throat> Maybe he doesn't have time to return to Wonka. What? Bad, bad. I already talked a little about Tortured Poet Society. I felt, felt I had maybe a little bit too much tea for me. This, the tea is scalding on... You know what? That's what I'll say. Tortured Poets Department is scalding hot tea. So I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. And then I'll go in there and maybe take a sip. Or a couple of sips. Oh, look. The famous Kiki doesn't wear jewelry either. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. We both have the same uh, thing. I just don't like the way it looks on me. Oh, I love all the telekinesis love. Oh, let's see here. Leon says, Grace, your videos and streams have helped me get through some difficult times. Your insight and compassion is appreciated and inspiring. Oh, this is your favorite channel? That means a lot, Leon, and I'm so glad I've been able to be there for you. Uh, oh, Diego got a membership. Pretty nice. Uh, Danny says, could Aaron Moten from Fallout replace Jonathan Majors as Kang? You know, I could see it, but I really think it would be difficult for an actor to have to step into that role. I think there's just too much baggage. I wouldn't want that for an actor, to be honest with you. I would want Aaron Moten to get his own role. He's so good on Fallout. I love that show. Love it! Let's see here. Kyle says, Grace, did you know about what no, the Pentagon has a budget for film? What do you think about this? I think that's fine, you know, you know, propaganda ain't gonna make itself. And you know, propaganda, uh, uh, you know, propaganda is the negative word for it. But you know, I would say publicity or outreach is probably how the Pentagon views it. You know, I think the Pentagon <clears throat> has a vested interest in how they're portrayed by Hollywood. And I think that one of the things they do is that they will give you some money if you are making a movie about them and you know, you're, you're nice or at least reasonable about it. I think obviously they want, they don't want to, I'm sure, well, I don't know. I don't know what it's like to deal with the Pentagon, but I mean, clearly a lot of, I've never heard anyone complain about it, so they must be pretty cool about it. Um, Arun says, hey, Grace, why do some studios not like reactions to their trailers? Isn't it free coverage for their movie? For the most part, Arun, it's all good. Uh, I think what happened with the Transformers trailer yesterday is that, unfortunately, um, I think that, you know, they wanted to get out ahead of their stream and not have every, anybody co-op the stream. So that's why it was set to block. So I think that's what happened. Because Paramount's usually really cool about trailers. So, and they were really cool about releasing it pretty fast as soon as I said, like, what the heck, man? And I was very polite. You know, I said I have a good relationship with the studio. I also reached out to my contact there. But I, when, I, when I contested it, I was like, I think you might have made a mistake. <laughs> 
I was like, I got a good relationship with the studio. And I, and also I was like, could you at the very least just like unblock it? Even if you want to claim it, could you at least unblock it? Because, you know, I understand claiming the trailer, but they were very cool. They just totally released it, so which I really appreciated. Yes, he says, cats or dogs? Uh, I actually prefer cats, to be honest with you, because they remind me of a family member. So I, I love cats for that reason. I th I'm like, this reminds me so much of that family member. I'm like, aw, which is ironic because that family member hates cats and likes dogs, even though they're very much like a cat. Anthony says, apologies for my late arrival. That's all right, Anthony. I love you announcing yourself. Condolences is to Adam and his family and friend. Ah, from London. Grace, you are truly uh, a YouTube pioneer. Ah, that's very kind of you to say, Anthony. I'm just glad that I could create a space like this where we got to know Adam and that um, we, were, we were able to mourn him. You know, I think that's, that's you know, I think that's very nice for under the circumstances for Adam as well. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Tiff says, how is May looking overall? I don't know, Tiff. I'm more ner the, the movie industry is having a very difficult time. I was actually just speaking to somebody about this yesterday, and the saying going around Hollywood is survive to 25, which is 2025. Everybody knows this year is pretty much a big dilemma. And just everybody's having a hard time. Uh, everybody across the board. You know, interest is down. It's very difficult. So again, P Joey, thank you for gifting a membership. Everybody here, your support of this channel, particularly times like this, is crucial. So thank you so much. Let me see here. Oh, look, Daft Toll also doesn't wear jewelry. Uh, hello, fellow non-jewelry wearers. Obermata, thanks for joining. CM says, Jonathan Bailey is Wolverine or Cyclops? He'd be good as Cyclops. He'd be a good Cyclops, actually. Uh, let's see here. Sneaky says, rank these horrible wigs. Amy Pascal, uh, Ant-Man 3. Uh, I don't want to be mean, Sneaky, but some of those wigs are pretty awful. Uh, let's see. I don't want to be mean. I mean, I think it's pretty clear who has the worst wig out of that group, so I don't need, I don't need to say it. Let's see here. RJ, I'm glad you like my shirt. We were just talking about it. It's from AFRM. Dancing Dog 60, Wyatt Russell. He'd be an interesting choice for Jurassic Park. I like Wyatt Russell. He was pretty good on the um, on the new Godzilla show on Apple TV. And I'm excited for him in Thunderbolts. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. That's right, RJ14. You can do a force field with telekinesis. Oh, Riley would like Poison Ivy's powers. Oh, those are interesting. But you want to be green, though? I like Poison Ivy a lot. She's so great. Favorite superhero growing up, actually, along with, you know, Batman. I loved her. Rashad says, how about magic? Well, obviously, but that's not a mutant power. But magic, obviously, is pretty good. Uh, In the Moment Reel says, hi, Grace, could you recommend some comics for the X-Men 97 stories that they have covered? Uh, I think what you can do is I used to make videos in the past and you can go look some of those up on Think About the Ink, but you can Google best X-Men stories of all time and they will just give you the graphic novels to read. <clears throat> I would also recommend joining Comixology for like $6 a month. You can probably read most of those for free. <clears throat> hey, Lawson. Uh, did you just, Lawson, you just gift, I guess you could gift before you join, but thank you for, welcome back. I see you rejoined. Uh, I don't, yeah, Exina, a lot of Jennifer Lopez hate. Although $7,000 for tickets for her show, I don't care where the seats are, that was nuts. But I don't know what's happening there. I mean, that's, I mean, J-Lo, she's always been pretty nice. I don't know what's happening. Uh, Jordan, I mean, I think, I hope her team is taking a look at that and is like, all right, let's take a little step back. Then we can get re-enter. Jordan says, when do you think we'll see a first look at the third Avatar movie? I want to see the red people. The fire, the fire Navi. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe D23, come to think of it. That's right, Batman. The Pentagon gave a lot of money, particularly to Top Gun. Happy Friday, Lawson. Oh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. 
Jordan, I have played Disney Emoji Blitz. I have a friend who is amazing at it. Like, like probably one of the best Emoji Blitz players in the world. No joke. But I only play a little bit because I'm only medium at it. That's right, Extina. I'm a cat person. Bartleby. Bartleby's back. 20 memberships, Bartleby. Ah, oh, you've been missed, Bartleby. Where have you been? Bartleby's not only incredibly generous, and I love his name, Bartleby the Scrivener, based off a fabulous short story, but also asks some very interesting questions. Let's see here. Anthony, hey, thanks for gifting a membership. Ah, uh, there's the love, Bartleby. I see it. I love you, too. Michael, you've never worn a watch? What did you do before? Like, uh, I used to wear a watch before they had, like, smartphones and stuff. Let's see here. Uh, Alex, as I described earlier, I've not watched Rebel Moon Part 2, and I don't plan to at this point. It's just too late. Tiff, Adam Eve's powers are also excellent. They're a little bit too much like she can do anything, and they're basically, in my opinion, telekinesis. But yeah, she's got great powers. Dan says, what are the Oscar chances for the cast of Challengers? I have to see how the rest of the year comes together. But uh, I think they're, they're solid. I think they're definitely in it. Let's just say I definitely think they're in the mix. Their movie's coming out a little bit early, but it can be done. Oh, look at Ram and Zilla bringing in water bending. Water bending is uh, the air bending and water. Uh, well, what bend would I want? I've always wanted earth bending because I saw what Toph could do with it and metal bending. But the, all the bending's pretty good. I don't think you can go wrong with any of the, with the, uh, with the bending. Look, Holly's back says, I hope you know the lighthearted trolling came from a place of love. Thank you for being an ally to the LGBT community. We love you. Ah, thanks, uh, Holly. I'm glad to see that because, you know, I felt a little bad about it, but I'm glad that, to hear you say that. And so uh, you are still a welcome member of the community yourself. Hines says, what's the best Vegas concert you ever attended? I've only been to Vegas a few times. I saw Jerry Seinfeld. It was the first time I ever used StubHub. I got my whole family to fly out there to see Jerry Seinfeld. And I was so nervous those tickets wouldn't work because it was just when StubHub was starting. And I was like, rebuy someone's tickets? What if, they, what if I've been swindled? But they scanned and we had a great time. Uh, it's Caesar's Palace. It was one of the best times, times ever. Uh, I've also seen, I've seen, uh, I went for, I was there at a work function. And I went to some Cirque du Soleil. You got to do the Cirque du Soleil, obviously, when you're there. That was good. But I also saw Tom Jones, which was fun. Uh, it was very, like, old school Vegas. And I, one of the people I went with went absolutely nuts for him. So that made the evening, like, really nuts for Tom Jones. And I was like, that's what it's all about. Lily says, oh, Ch CJ, thanks for gifting a membership. Hold on, Lily says, hello, Grace. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What do you think of Ro Rachel Zegler and Kit Connor for Romeo and Juliet on Broadway? Will you attend? I don't go to a lot of theater. I don't know if I would see that, to be honest with you, but I hope it does really well, and I think it's great for the theater business. Oh, Jerry says, J-Lo talked herself into trouble. I did not know about that. Nick Dean says, you should get a red blazer and be Val Cooper for Halloween. I've seen the Val Cooper comparisons. I'm very flattered that you guys think of me. Uh, I don't want to ruin Thunderbolts, Dane. I don't know why there's an asterisk, to be honest with you. I know some of the story points for the movie, but I don't want to spoil it. Don't you want to have a good time? Let's see here. Babette says, what does the future hold for German actress Sandra Hewler after an Oscar nom for Anatomy of a Fall? I hope a lot more work. I think she's a very interesting, complex actress. I like her work a lot. In the Moment Reels has a cute little Russian blue mix named Rocky. That sounds adorable. I don't know very much about dogs, but you did a heck of a job describing yours. Mm -hmm. Danny says, any hidden gem show you would recommend this weekend? I hope you've all watched Ripley. I like it. Poor Ripley. Ripley. And also, Hack Season 3 is incredible when it starts May 2nd. You should watch that for sure. So good. Hey, Andre. Thanks for joining. Liam, thanks for upgrading to BTC Inside Access. We're going to have, uh, 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 next week, we're going to have our, our privates uh, ask me anything. The infamous Kiki spent 3 k for BTS tickets. You know, I think for something you truly love, and if you feel you get, the, you get your money's worth, you should totally do that. You, I'm a big believer in treating yourself every once in a while. 
I have another relative who never does anything, and I always feel bad for him. He just kind of sits there. And I'm like, dude, do some stuff. Well, I can't say that to that person because I'm not that close with them. So I just, but I just feel bad. <clears throat> it's like a relative of a relative. Tiff says, what's your video, favorite video game adaptation so far? Oh, I can't choose between Fallout and The Last of Us. I can't. They're both so good. Michael says, thoughts on Fincher remaking Strangers on a Train. Oh. Because it's Fincher, I will allow it. Because, <laughs> you know, he has to get my permission. Now, I'm a huge Hitchcock fan, and I don't think anybody should touch any of those films. But I really like David Fincher, and I want him to do more work. I don't think he works enough. All right, I've stayed on here way longer than I planned to, because I love talking to you guys. All right, let's do shout-outs. Shout-outs! Heinz, I'm glad you liked Mario. But, I mean, I don't play Mario, so I couldn't appreciate it for what it was. Ah, uh, thanks, Ronnie. I like your photo. Oh, Matt, I loved Perry Mason, too. Perry Mason was incredible. Poor show got canceled. Justice for Matthew, whatever his name is. I love that guy, even though I forgot his last name. Extina says, uh, Extina was the best Vegas concert. I can imagine that she was a great concert. Tony, Bad Batch is incredible. Nobody's watching it. It's so sad. It is the best Star Wars content. Nobody cares. So sad what's happened to that show. Jiko's about to listen to the second ha half of the Taylor Swift album. Enjoy. Oh, Jeff, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed the stream, even though it was an Ask Me Anything. Film Fanatic is going to the grocery store. Mr. Love, I'm glad you were able to drop in as well. Britt is watching Abbott Elementary while Tiff is watching in rainy Colorado, waiting for Taco Bell. Oh, delicious. Let's see here. Bye, Olivia. Oliver. You have a great weekend, too. J. Scott Garibay it says, homemade iced coffee in Philadelphia. Oh, I'm making your own iced coffee. That's next level. I love it. Heinz Adventure, E. Adventure says, three more hours of work until the weekend. Going to watch the musical six tonight. Oh, that's great. Um, I love that you're counting down the hours. You're almost done. Uh, Ruth says, getting ready for my first European trip. Going to Lisbon next week. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Ruth. Oh, it's so fun to go to Europe. You're in for, uh, I don't know if you're um, coming from the United States or not, but for me, it was such a trip how much older everything is and you really feel the history. It just makes such a difference. I hope you have a great time, Ruth. We can I can't wait to hear all about it when you get back. Mish says, making popcorn, having my Coca-Cola ready, going to find a movie to watch. Oh, that's a great Friday activity. Sensation is going to go out for a relaxing run after this. Love it. Danny, you're, you're a late breakfast in Guatemala. Always nice to see you, Danny. Uh, Tagari and Poppy is in Dallas trying to get out of bed. Ah, I love it. It's Friday. You know, don't worry about it. I'm glad you seem to have the day off. Michael says, off to the dog park in Chicago with Husky. You're a beautiful dog, by the way. Have a great weekend, everybody. Ivan says, hey, hey, Grace, a little sick today, but glad I watched Abigail yesterday. It was so much fun, wasn't it? And Tammy, I saw you talking about it as well. It's really a fun movie. Jerry is editing his screenplay yet again. That's awesome. Editing is so important. Hope you're all having a great day and we'll be thinking of Adam. We all will for sure. Jason just finished Fallout and oh, you're going back to writing as well. I love seeing a lot of writers here. Uh, let's see here. Lewis says it's 6.51 where uh, he is and he's thinking of tacos. Ah, uh, Friday. You know what? You don't have to just eat tacos on Tuesday. Oh, thank you, Jason, for gifting some memberships. I appreciate that. I, I, again, memberships are the best way to support this channel because it not only helps the channel, but somebody else gets to benefit from your gift. Dan says, working away with my dogs. Oh, you have a dog named Marvel too? Ah, CJ's got a dog named Marvel. Chad does, now you do. So you have Marvel and Roger. In the Moment Real says, just signed a new lease for an apartment in Andersonville, Chicago, looking into hiring movers. Oh, that's great. Congrats. Congrats on the new space. That's going to be so fun. Aided Buffalo is eating some tasty McDonald's. Delicious. Uh, well, CM is finishing up his chicken and broccoli and rice before film class in Dallas. I love it. I love that you're eating healthy. Oh, look, see, Chad says, Marvel party. Woohoo. And Dancing Dog 60 is at the office in Boston. Nothing too exciting here. That's okay, Dancing Dog 60. You're the party. You're bringing the fun to the office. Oh, Dan Rogers for Steve Rogers. I love it. I love that you got the theme going there. Well, Cosmix is eating a Belvita bar. I think I've heard of that, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Hmm. 
Oh, wandering the city, CJ? That's the best thing to do. I love walking around New York. And Martin Radio is drinking coffee in Seattle and uploading albums to your YouTube channel. Oh, that's awesome. It sounds like you have like a radio type channel. And the Fawn says, just joined, but I'm at my office killing time on Friday. Oh, that's great. Again, happy Friday, everybody. Oh, and Anthony says, damn, I was going to treat myself to Mickey D's, but opted for anti, uh, antipasta instead. Oh, you get Mc Mickey D's another day. Mickey D's, it's always there, man. It's always there for you. Well, LOL of the Rings is playing video games before working my flight to Orlando. Oh, what a day for you. That sounds like a killer day. All right, everybody. I had such a nice time talking to you as always. I'll see you next week. Well, I'll see you on Sunday for Movie Math, and then we'll do the three streams next week. I'm going to try and start them a little earlier so that we can get the three in with news stories. All right? And also on Sunday, I'll let you know when the next, when BTT Inside Access is. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody.